Hello, welcome back. Dr. Nikki Cohen here. Today we are gonna mix things up a little bit. I am not gonna talk about something related to pee, poop, or sex. I know, crazy. But we are gonna talk about something arguably just as important, if not more important, breathing. The art, the beauty, and the science of breathing, okay? So, we are gonna start off with the boring science part, okay? Quick anatomy lesson. You've got your lungs. They sit right here in your chest cavity. Just below your lungs, you have a muscle called a diaphragm. The diaphragm is kind of uh, arc-shaped like this, and it sits right below the lungs. As you inhale, the diaphragm goes down as air comes in. As you exhale, the diaphragm comes back up and it helps to push that air out. So diaphragm goes down, air comes in, diaphragm comes up, air goes out. The diaphragm, you could kind of say, is the divider between the chest and the abdomen. So as the diaphragm goes down, it pushes into that abdominal cavity. And as it does so, it kind of pushes all of those abdominal organs away or aside. And then as it comes back up, all those organs come back up and back into their normal resting position. So every time you inhale and exhale, those abdominal organs get pushed out of the way and then pulled back in and pushed out of the way and pulled back in. And this happens roughly 12, 13, 14 times every minute. So if we're breathing properly, we are also massaging our abdominal organs. One could argue that a normal diaphragmatic breath is an abdominal massager. I am one of those people. I teach all of my pelvic patients and my abdominal therapy patients to breathe diaphragmatically for this reason. So not only is breathing important and vital to get oxygen into our bodies and to eliminate carbon dioxide, but it's vital for digestion. It is truly the breath of life. So next time you go outside and you take your breath of fresh air, take a nice deep inhale, let your belly expand in all directions, give that diaphragm all the space it needs to expand fully. And then as you exhale, let all the air come out. I recommend that every hour you take five belly breaths, just like that. Inhale, let your belly button move out, let your belly expand like a balloon, and then exhale and let everything go back to normal. Five times an hour. You'd be surprised. It helps with relaxation and it tremendously helps with digestion. So, I hope that was um, helpful for you. And if you feel inclined, go ahead and share this with anybody who needs to take a breath and relax. If you have any questions or any inquiries, email me, Nikki at theorganicpt.com. That's N-I-K-K-I at theorganicpt.com. Hope you have a fantastic day.